It is true that some things at school you won't really use much once you leave, but the unit cost method you'll use all the time. You'll go to the supermarket, you'll see a whole aisle of toilet paper, and you'll wonder, hmm, should I buy the packet of 12 rolls for $14.88, or should I buy the packet of 25 rolls for $31.50? Which of these is the better deal? Because I'm going to use a lot of toilet paper anyway, right, over the next three, four, five months. I may as well have 25 rolls if it's cheaper to buy it like this than it is to buy it like this. And you can use the unit cost method to figure it out. Now, it's called the unit cost method because it figures out what one unit of stuff is worth. Okay, in other words, what one roll of toilet paper is worth. And then if you know what one roll of this toilet paper is, and you know what one roll of this toilet paper is, you can then directly compare them. We can't directly compare these because this is 12 rolls and this is 25 rolls. All right, so let's figure out what one roll of toilet paper costs. So one roll or one unit of the item is equal to um, the total cost over the number of items. Now in this case, uh, $14.88 divided by 12 because that's the number of items. Now if you type that into your calculator, you're going to get $1.24. Each roll of toilet paper is worth $1.24. Now what about this one? One roll will be equal to the total cost over the number of items. Now in this case, that's $31.50 over 25. And when you type that into your calculator, you're going to get $1.26. Now, what does this mean? Well, if you buy in packs of 12, you're paying $1.24 per roll of toilet paper. If you're buying in packs of 25, you're paying $1.26 per roll of toilet paper. You're much, or you're a little bit better off buying this packet then you are buying this packet. You should always buy in rolls of 12, in packets of 12, not in packets of 25. Now, you might be saying, well, you didn't save much. Yeah, but you might save a little bit more depending on how they've set it up. But across the entirety of your shop, you buy some toilet paper here, you buy some detergent here, you buy something else here, you can save a lot of money. And it's nice to save money because you can spend that money on other stuff. So we'll do it with dishwashing liquid as well here, so you can see that it doesn't need to be nice little packets like the toilet paper, one roll, one roll. We can do uh, 400 mils of dishwashing liquid at $1.12, 900 mils at $2.25. Now, we can set this up, we can figure out what one unit is, and we might call one unit one mil of dishwashing liquid. Now, one mil of dishwashing liquid is going to be equal to the total cost over the not number of items but in this case the amount so the total cost is $1.12 uh, and we divide that by the amount 400 and we'll get an answer in this case 0 0.0028 that's a very small number here it's it's less than a cent all right now what about this one here well one mil is going to be equal to the total cost over the total amount Now that's going to be uh, $2.25 divided by 900, and that's going to be 0 0.0025. All right, 0 0.0025 is smaller than 0 0.0028, uh, therefore I should buy this packet here. It's cheaper to buy it in the 900 ml bottle than it is to buy it in the 400 ml bottle. Now, in this case and in this case I've done some comparing but you can also do something else with the unit cost method and that's to figure out how much a certain amount of dishwashing liquid or toilet paper might cost. So someone ask, might ask you how much is 350 rolls of toilet paper? Now it depends on how this question's asked but if it's asked just like this how much for 350 rolls of toilet paper the answer is total cost equals 350 times the unit cost, $1.24, and that is going to be $434. Now, I said it depends on how this question is asked, right? Because if you needed to buy 
350 rolls of toilet paper. You couldn't do it because uh, 12 doesn't go into 350 neatly, right? Um, if you do 350 divided by 12, you don't get a nice neat number of these packets. You would actually need to buy more than 350 rolls. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If I do 350 divided by 12, my answer is 29.17. Now that means that if I want exactly 350 rolls of toilet paper, I'd have to buy 29.17 packets of toilet paper. But you can't buy 29.17 packets of toilet paper, so you have to round up to 30 packets of toilet paper. And if you have to round up to 30 packets of toilet paper, it means that the total cost is going to be 30 packets of toilet paper times, not $1.24, but the total cost of each packet, $14.88, which is $446.40. So, two answers here, $446.40, $434. They're different things. This one is how much for 350 rolls of toilet paper. This question is more complicated. It's if you have to buy 350 rolls of toilet paper in these packets, how much will it cost? You'll have to round up to 30 packets, and therefore it's going to be $446.40. All right, that is the unit cost method. You divide down so you find the cost of one item, and then you can multiply up to find out whatever you want to find out.